Oh shit, dog! It's a shrine. <laughs> it's a shrine. Oh, welcome back. Did you not see that? It looked like it said like, "Oh shit, dog." <laughs> oh no, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dog! A shrine. Uh, welcome back, everybody. <laughs> welcome back. Um, <laughs> we were. Jared was making mention about how uh, they uh, kind of disregarded some of the events. That happened in Breath of the well, Wild like, in this game. It's almost like everything. Like, there's no mention of the Guardians. There's no mention of, like, there's no, like, they cleaned up the entire map of Guardians. Like, yeah. Are you, are you, what? <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of that. And, like, do you remember, do you remember how Hyrule Castle I forget what I'm supposed to do. had, like, the five oh. pillars that came out that all the Guardians came out of? <laughs> mm hmm. What the fuck? Where did they go? Like, did they descend? Like, okay, here's the thing. If they were like, if they gave the just even a quick, the quick explanation of like, yeah, we've been cleaning up Hyrule, rebuilding our civilization, and um, like with the the guardian towers that came out around Hyrule Castle. We, like, harnessed the... We finally figured out, like, how to use the Sheikah Slates and all that shit and blah, 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 blah. And we, like, put them back in the ground so that way they were basically back in a hibernation. Because we don't want any kind of calamity energy to corrupt the Guardians ever again. So that's why we put them back down there like that, right? Even if they did yeah. it in a lazy way like that, it would be like, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, like, there is a lot of stuff, like... The Sheikah Towers that were everywhere, they're just replaced by Pura's, like, other whatever towers, or maybe, like, no, because you know what, now that I'm thinking about it, those, the Sheikah Towers extended out of the ground too whenever you activated the first one. Yeah. Like King yeah. Rumsher. But again, like, they never explain, like, why if, like, they just put them back away? And then, cause like, here's the thing too. Like, I'm, I might be wrong on a lot of stuff, but right now off the top of my head, the only thing I can think of that they really did explain was that like, like the Sheikah Slate, the reason why you don't have that anymore is because it was upgraded to the, Pura pad because she made that and like Zelda's using it when you're down in the mm -hmm. in the like chasm down in the gloom mm -hmm. or whatever they call it and yeah, then yeah. after everything went down Zelda time traveled and gave it back to you so you could continue using it mm -hmm. so like mm -hmm. there's that and obviously they explain why you don't have the master sword they explain why you don't have like your hearts and stamina now because you got corrupted which I think I, I don't know if I may mention about that that's pretty fucking cool how, um, yeah. ah. like, every time you upgrade your stamina, your hearts, or whatever, you can see a little bit of the corruption leaving Link. Yeah, yeah, I do like that, too. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but, like, yeah, there, there's still a lot of details that it's just like, where did these people go? Why don't they have this? Why didn't they do this? And, obviously, I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but... I mean, it's just the the biggest thing is like the guardians, like that entire thing was like, it was the entire game. Yeah, and it's just they're not just there yeah, they anymore? just fucked off. What? <clears throat> and that's you know what's a little I I want to actually I can't wait until a little bit in the future when people start reviewing this game a little more like they did with Breath of the Wild because in mm -hmm. Breath of the Wild. The Guardians and the architecture that the Guardians were, like, built upon, the way they looked with mm -hmm. their, the shapes of them and the, uh, yeah. like, rings and stuff. And, like, the, um, the shrines you went to, the Sheikah shrines you went to in Breath of the Wild, the way those were, were yeah. inspired heavily upon, like, an ancient... Uh, I think, like, Chinese civilization, I think. I can't remember exactly what it was called. And they were like, yeah, we based our art upon a lot of that. 
So with like the Zonai, it so looks kind of similar, but most. Oh, I saw that wiggle. Yeah, yeah. yeah burn that fucker down. Happen. Yeah. <laughs> um, but How with about a little fire, scarecrow. <laughs> But we yeah! um <laughs> Yeah, fuck off, burn, bitch. You made of wood. You ain't treated lumber. <laughs> wow, this is uh, not going as fast I, as I thought it would. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what motherfucker? What I the... didn't say you could stop burning. <laughs> yeah, how I did not give... <laughs> Did I give you permission? Why it lost so much more health. It's because the initial hit from the arrow does yeah. a good bit, but like... Alright, now steal his log. Give me your nuts! <laughs> Give me that chickalo <laughs> tree nut. <laughs> What's up, my chickalo? <laughs> <laughs> That's a tree form. That's the... Nut. Oh my god, if we could make chickalos the juggalos of the Zelda universe... <laughs> Just... <laughs> Just people coming up. Oh, this fucker. Yeah, I remember. Actually, I'm gonna take a little. De I'm gonna take a little detour. Oh man, you're 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 smart. I didn't. I uh, what? Yo, I like actually what? <laughs> I didn't even think about this I'm when I was coming. I'm so I'm so happy. I'm like blowing your mind here. <laughs> I I didn't even think about that. I just went up and I was like, "All right, it's go time, baby!" And I actually killed them. Whatever. I went through the bridge. Well, I don't think I don't think this leads anywhere. Oh, there's a oh thing here. Who the fuck was this? Was uh this well proved more comfortable than I expected? Not too hot, not too cold, cozy, really for a well. I had no need for heat-resistant chili ingredients or cold-resistant warm ones. I cooked for pleasures instead of survival. For a time, I considered tilling the soil in here, living off the land until the end of my days, but times have changed. The <clears throat> upheaval formed a myriad of new caves. Upheaval is an awesome ability in DL before, by the way. Unexplored lands are a veritable buffet of cooking materials, and I, Aretomro, uh, intend to dig in. <clears throat> if you seek fortune, keep moving. Chef, whatever, master of cuisine. Interesting. That, that was is, like a weird, like... That is weird. It, like... Why... I, why is I a chef... Why Wait, does a actually. chef have to survive? <laughs> what is he running from? <laughs> is this like the Who's... universe where Ratatouille went sour? <laughs> Oh my god. Um, he did bring up an interesting point though in that fucking, uh, one day, whenever I build my home, like, whenever I, like, I, I, I'm gonna, I, I wanna, I wanna build a, build a house someday, wherever, yeah, like, yeah. I decide to live forever, you know? Um, and I wanna become do Become a lich? It. Yeah. And, what's that? I said become a lich? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> But I want to do, like, I've seen some architect structure about it already. Um, I want to do one of those half and half homes where, like, the main part of the house is above ground. And then it, like, leads back into, like, a, like a, like a mountainside or some shit. And they fortify the dirt or whatever mm -hmm. around it because it provides a lot of energy saving uh properties because when you that's and cellars are built specifically that way to be kept at a variable temperature or a constant mm -hmm. like whatever temperature for you know, that that's why like a wine cellar is the way it is because you go down there and you don't really need too much ventilation um ventilation is in the sense of like uh uh what what's the what's the word called like just a, like an air system to keep her cool yeah. or warm because it's just naturally kept at a good temperature underneath like that um mm -hmm. and i want i want to build my house like that i want it i don't know like i don't want it to be completely underground but like i've seen i don't know editor if i find a cool picture i'll send it to you if not you can just give me a little salute and then tell me to fuck off um <laughs> <laughs> but I've seen a cool one where it's like a modern looking home with like some windows and a bar like sitting up 
And then back, ah, yeah, I found this fucker too when I was coming up here. I love Shit. shooting these assholes. Uh, oh, fuck. I f yeah, I forgot that the bow has the like a arc of the. It's got a crazy arc. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a it's got like a physics thing built in with it. But anyway, um, yeah, no, it was like a cool like <clears throat> modern looking thing with like metal roofing, and then the back was just dirt and grass, but like beautifully kept grass. And the rest mm -hmm. of the house is behind that. So I think that'd be pretty cool. It's probably fucking expensive though. To, oh yeah. You know, and you gotta you gotta know what you're doing. You gotta because like I, my dad, uh, his whole career until he retired was construction. That's like all he did. So he taught me a lot of that stuff. So like, if I needed to build a house right now, there's some things that I need to te like reteach myself. But I could just build mm -hmm. a basic ass house, right? Like I would have no yeah. problems doing that. But to be able to do something like that, to understand the physics and like the weight of the dirt and like structurally how much resistance you need to put back into your structure to make sure like, you know, nothing falls apart while you do whatever the fuck you're doing um, by the weight of the dirt around like the, the ground or, or the earth around it, I should say. I uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Like that would take that that takes a lot more math than I ha know how to do. Yeah. So. Anyway, nice wagon, wagon, baby. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you gonna get this girl's digit? Uh, I'm gonna get something from her. I don't know. I can't remember what. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a wild horse. Oh. Okay. Oh, I've gotta, I've gotta catch a horse. Oh, you gotta catch a horse uh, for this whore? Oh, fuck that. Yeah. It's too much work. Don't worry, I'll get it. Dude, bro. I have to I have to go on a tangent right now. Listen. Yeah, go for it. I'm the other the day, I was at work, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was at work, and um, these uh, girls came in. They just they were like traveling. They came from a concert, and I was in the back. The dudes up front radioed in. They were like, "Hey, we're like we need you to come on." And I had, like heard the last part of that. I just heard you need to come out here. And then the last part of it was a little bit muffled. I'm like, fuck, what's going on now? But I came out. These girls showed up, and they were like, listen, our friend outside, it's her bird. What the fuck is that horse doing? You see that? He, like, he, he looked like fucking... he, he looked like he tried to juke you, like, five times. <laughs> He's like, which way am I going? Which yeah, way am I going? Editor, can we get a replay of that? And maybe, like, a football whistle in? To be like, <laughs> like, oh, where's he going? Um, but no, uh... They came in, and uh, so, yeah, what happened was the girl was like, hey, we just came from, like, concert with Trial, and, like, I know this sounds, like, what weird, corny, whatever you want to say. Um, oh, shit, there he goes. Um, but we're going to have her come in here. Do you want to sing happy birthday with her to us? And I was like, fuck it, I'll do it if you guys are doing it. And they were like, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah, fuck it, why not? Let's do it. So they brought her in, and we sang happy birthday to her. And just as, like, a thing, um... I hope my boss isn't listening. I, it doesn't, you know, I didn't even think about that. I hope my boss doesn't watch the show because uh, I don't know if I was supposed to do this or not. I went back and I got a free food coupon and I came out and I was just like, hey, listen, here, happy birthday. Here's one for on us. And she was like, oh, my God, thanks. And they left. And I thought about it before. And I was like, you know what I should have done? I should have put my number on the back of that card and like handed it to her and see if like it would have went anywhere. But then, like, immediately, I was like, nah, that would not have been a good idea, because, like, I don't know, just, it's always, it, here's here's where this conversation is going to go, this tangent, is that I, I hate- I got 100 fucking bucks from her. God <laughs> damn, that's a lot better than anything, wow. I'm going to have to go back and do the side quest. But no, what this <laughs> tangent is going to do is that I hate that, like, me- being a dude just makes things weird if I do things. Yeah. Like, that alone, if I would have done that, would probably be like, Ugh, creep. Like, like, listen, like, just, I'm just, I'm single. That's all I'm just trying to, like, whatever. If it doesn't work out, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. But then I also thought about it, because, like, these girls were definitely, like, around 20 or something like that, right? Yeah. I'm in my 30s. So I was like, I'm yes. glad I didn't do that. 
Because, holy yeah. shit, that would have been weird. And then that pissed me yeah. off even more. Here's why. Let me tell you why. I'm gonna tell you. I'm about to. Fuck, mm, let me. Let me tell you. Cause. Hit me with it. I'm in my 30. If, if, if I don't. It's just gonna be, sound like me. I don't know. I I already know that like somebody's gonna hear this and just get pissed <laughs> off. But fuck you. It's real. It happens. So, me doing that in my 30s. Giving it, like, mistaken a girl that's, like, 10 years younger than me, I look like a creep, right? But yeah. if it were the other way around, and a girl did, like, a woman did that, and found out that, like, dude is, you know, just a handsome 19-year-old that she mistook for somebody in their, like, mid to late 20s, then it's, uh -huh. like, weirdly, I don't want to say adorable, I can't think of a good word, it's, like, weirdly charming, right? But like, yeah, if yeah, I yeah. did it, I'm a creep. Yeah. So then I just got pissed off at the whole situation. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and then like, <laughs> there was there was a split second where I'm like, I'm glad I didn't give that dumb bitch my number. Like, I'm fucking, how dare? <laughs> then I was like, wait, 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 no, that's not right. Like, does <laughs> like you can't just projecting <laughs> weird thoughts <laughs> on this like poor girl I didn't even know that I'm like. No, 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 no. She's she's fine. It's society's fault. It's <laughs> <laughs> it's society's fault. Yeah. It's a fucking that Simpsons meme. Yeah. It's like, am, am and, I the one that's out of I touch? So out of no, touch? It's no. no, it's the kids. No, <laughs> it's the kids. <laughs> yeah, no, or it's, it's the youth. <laughs> <laughs> Am I so out of touch being 30 wanting to date a 19 year old? No, it's the 19 year old's fault. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what's funny is that, like, <laughs> what's funny is that there are people out there that would hear this, right? And just be like, yeah, yeah I get that. There's going to be other people who are out there and be like, yeah, no, I think you're just kind of a jackass, which I don't give a shit about you people, fuck off. Um, and then there's gonna be the weird third person that's like, Yeah, man, no, like, I get it, I get what you're talking about, it's bullshit, I can't be- It's like, dude, you, you- That, you missed the point. You missed the point, and also, you probably should be serving a six-month sentence right about now. <laughs> like, just saying, brother. <laughs> like. <laughs> like if that's your reaction and you're not doing 25 to life then yes yeah, society really has been doing something wrong oops this uh let's just this balloon yeah. thing putting like shit together and uh -huh. making hot it is actually one of my favorite things i really do like this yeah it's pretty neat i'm gonna be honest yeah pretty creative all right now don't go away. I need you. <laughs> yeah, come back. Yeah. Oh yeah. Man. You made that way less complicated than I did. <laughs> Cause that goes Oh no, that goes no, to I'm the curious. next area. Yeah. Maybe I'm thinking two. of the wrong part. I'm just trying to think of where the chest is in this one. Possibly. I think it's... It's there. Um, Where? I, I miss so. it completely. It's up top. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see here. What is this? Torch. I can't take any more melee weapons. Okay. Good talk. Okay, so yeah. let's I remember I fucked this part up real bad too. Trying to get the balls to balance and whatnot. There's one. Is it the big one? Is this one? Yeah, because there's this big ball. What I did was I just like st <laughs> I stacked. I think I might have went back and like stacked a couple balloons on it, and then just put yeah. all four of these, so it just shot up real fucking fast. <laughs> Yeah, because you don't need, well, you do need the balloon to get that, the small ball up. Uh -huh. like you can just get yourself up via here. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, let's see. Is 
Because I can't remember. I think, honestly, I think, isn't it that, like, uh, maybe, I think, maybe you do need both balls. I can't remember. Because <laughs> my... I don't think you need both. Because, but... like, one will get you the chest and one will open the door, I think. Yes. Yeah. Come on, get in there. I just got a weird flashback from playing World of Warcraft with you doing that. I don't know why. That's weird. Yeah, <laughs> it was from the last expansion. Um, it's called, uh, uh, what was it? Torgas. I actually, uh, man, I actually kind of missed Torgas. Um, it was a roguelike style system in Warcraft. Mm-hmm. Where you could yeah. go through a bunch of floors, and uh, the beta was great. Then they fucked it up. Then they fixed a bunch of shit. But then they like kept stuff out from the beta, and then like uh, just uh, uh, oh, whatever. But like it was actually pretty fun. And like by the end of it, after you like leveled up and everything, you could just be because they they built it. It was more of a rogue light than a rogue like. Um, yeah. And they built it pretty well, actually, where it was just, just fun to go through. And if you knew what you were doing and you learned your class and, like, what you were doing right, by the end, it was it was pretty easy to just become ah, super shit. powerful. Because that's how it worked. Like, uh-oh. Um, because that's how it worked, where at the beginning of, especially, like, the harder levels... You just it, it just took a little bit everything hit like a truck and you had to go and get your you know roguelike yeah. abilities um, Doing stupid shit it, You know as you do like you just get random abilities yeah, yeah, yeah. along the way and yeah. then I uh, But it, So like it was challenging at first, but then you get to like floor five of whatever the fuck you're doing and you were just, if you knew what you were doing for your class, it was just it, fun, and you were just wrecking shop, and then you would just finish mm -hmm. it out. It was, it was really fun. Got a lot less credit than it deserved, but it's also pretty fair because, like, they, like, okay, so here's the, here's the big thing. In the beta, they had an endless mode where you could oh. just go in and just have a lot of fun. Everything got harder, and it, like, you just kept getting more powers. Blah 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 blah. But in the live version, for some reason, they got rid of it, and no one. That's I don't. Weird. I don't think they ever explained why. That's weird. Yeah, and it was a bummer. But I mean, what are you gonna do? Cry about it. I kind of did. Cause here's <laughs> <laughs> here's my thing. It had the same treatment after the expansion with every other cool system in Warcraft. Um, which people kept giving a lot of complaints to, uh, that they are finally quote unquote promising to fix in the future, um, starting with like this expansion is <clears throat> they would int they introduce cool features and then the expansion leaves and then that feature is gone and it's like well, I really like having that like especially the, yeah. the, the big the best example is in Legion. Where they gave you artifact power for weapon for your weapons. Um oh, and shit. Uh, no. No. They gave you artifact power for your weapons, and it allowed you to build a secondary skill tree and also augment that weapon with like uh yeah. different uh, uh, like relics you could find in the world. Um and just make your weapon and skills like really cool, you know, just Awesome. Um, yeah. <clears throat> they got rid of that. Like, story-wise, it made sense. They're like, yeah, you don't have your artifact weapon anymore. Because what? They, they, there honestly was a good um, uh, fan reception, fan criticism, where they're like, we have this weapon, and you have us, like, have abilities to, or have ways to get, like, transmogs or whatever we can for it to make it look different. But you now got rid of an important aspect of the game where you can no longer get weapons from the outside world. Like, you can get unique weapons. So, yeah. 
Like, that just makes it a little lame. And they're like, yeah, that's fair. So, but instead of, like, taking the good parts about that and, le like, fixing the bad parts, they just got rid of the entire system um, altogether. And I love lore. We've already talked about. Um, um I'm sorry. What the fuck? <laughs> Sir. <laughs> but excuse you. <laughs> God damn it. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> I did not have okay. this many problems when I was, I was playing say, this on my own. Now you're reaching like <laughs> me levels of stupid when I was trying to do this shit. Um, but yeah, they just got rid of it. And like three episodes ago, somebody actually commented on one of our videos and was like, that lore dump for Zelda was crazy, dude. And I was like, yeah, sorry, I get a little excited sometimes. Um, but I just I just love lore in video games. That's like my favorite part in a lot of games is the lore. And so lore-wise in Warcraft, it made sense because at the end of Legion, there was that we like you defeated a titan, but a titan had a huge ass sword, and he used that sword to stab your planet. And uh, oh, Jesus, yeah, right. So they're like, all right, the sword is still like magic and active, and it's killing our world. What are we gonna do about it? So there's a character. His name is Arkma Arkma Archmage Cadgar. He uh, did some research and found out like we can use the power of your weapons to um, uh, nullify the sword's magic power that the Titan stabbed into it and stop it from bleeding out our world's energy. So they did. You did that, right? Mm -hmm. And but the consequence was that you lost the power of that artifact weapon. Um, oh. But what they could have done was kept in, like, the skill tree system from, the, from those weapons that you get. And th this is my, what I, I... I talked to DeAndre about this, actually. What I would have done, I would have kept that in and kept it... I would have called it, like, the martial system, like, the martial... Martial as in uh, combat, yeah. Martial, you yeah. know, skills, where you can like power that up uh, for your character and customize it slightly, and then just have your normal talent system as like a being a, being a way of like you experience so much from this artifact weapon teaching you shit that this happens, right? But mm -hmm. they didn't, so now we just went back to a basic system. Um... But I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll bitch some more next time on Super Co-op Bros. While we all right, and then yeah. maybe we'll figure out who's gonna be Impa. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Wait! Oh my God! It's the little person. Uh, yeah, oh, yeah. sorry. Spoilers. <laughs> all right. Bye, everybody. Bye. I love you. <laughs>